sad. You actually dare to come here? Wow, that's a lot Where of pirates. Where are coming from? I have several targets on my radar. Yeah, that is a very decent amount of pirates, I have to say. Um, you know, turret, join in any time. Turret? Hello? Okay, maybe this way. Yeah, I really wish our new turret would be joining in more frequently. We are not able to take all of these pirates out uh, with only one time shock. There are still a lot of them left. I wonder how many pirates that was, but I'm betting it was the most that we've seen. Uh, that we've seen. So it seems to me that the full weapon is actually... Um, like it's firing a burst of projectiles. Approaching. Very manageable amount. It seems to be like a burst of a couple of rounds and then a very long pause. The fool, however, seemed to be firing like normally. There's no burst in their weapon fire. So, like, do you see this? No, it's not a burst. Huh? And why does it say that this thing has only two shots per se uh, two shots per second? Because that is significantly more than two shots per second. Let me tell you that much. Okay, this one is the rear. Can I shock you? No. That would have been too good. Like, look at this turret. It's clearly probably mortar level, or maybe that is the mortar turret. We have one. I don't understand it. Ah, come on. I bet they also get damage reduction. Yeah, that probably is the mortar. So this I now expect to be a regular front weapon. Or spinal mounted weapon or whatever you might want to call it. At least I think the game prioritizes empty slots. Whatever empty slots you have. And then it prioritizes front weapons over turret weapons. Uh, when it upgrades the weapons that you get. So now we should be getting a normal. Yes. Now we have a laser weapon here. Uh, we are going to unequip. Uh, not the torpedo launcher. Unequip this graviton wave emitter. And instead, equip the Thule weapon. And, um, hang on, you know what? I want to see that fire by its lonesome. Let's just unequip all other weapons and see what the Thule weapon looks like. Still, I think this is a higher fire rate. What does it say here? Still two only. I've, oh no, that. Ah, I had the wrong weapon equipped, that's why. So now this is uh, the... Why am I so stupid? Okay, you unequip that. And now they seem to switch positions. That's why I'm being thrown off. This was a higher fire rate. Let's see. Yeah. So this is only two per second, clearly. Now we've seen that in action as well. I'm going to re-equip everything including the missile launcher i can equip all of these weapons actually all right uh there was one more pirate gang that i had um and it probably was at kyodal that name kind of rings a bell Well, if nothing else, there's normal pirates here. Let's see how much damage we are now doing. Yep, looks decent. And it will only go up from here. But it will go down one tiny bit, I suppose, because we will upgrade our ship and by proxy of that all enemies. But that's about it. 
Nice and easy. So, was I correct? There is a pirate hideout here. I remembered it. Or I just guessed lucky. Always possible as well. Ouch. Deficient beings do not belong here. Therefore, you shall die. Five pirates are coming. Who are you calling deficient? Also, I never know. Oh no, that was because we're going to the side. I thought we had more uh, speed when we were going uh, to the rear. Anyway, let's get in and shock everybody. I can't wait to do more damage, honestly. Maybe I should have hunted pirate gangs the soonest moment possible when we hit level 10. It will probably have saved us a lot of shooting at bullet sponges. So now you're really trying, huh? Face your limits then. Four Leibwächter greifen an. Four bodyguards once more. But they should not be a problem. Maybe I stand corrected. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen again. The missile seems to have missed us or dealt so little damage that it wasn't even registering for me. Alright. Don't you're count on it. Easy yeah, you're just an easy target. I will cleanse you. Almost took damage to my hull there. I don't want to allow that. Uh, come on. Hate when they do that. Once she uncloaks, it's time to run. Because she can't cloak already again, I bet. Which means it's time to attack for us. Ah! She managed to escape there. Maybe that's the real one? Yes, we guessed correctly. Boom! Has lost something. Another gang down. And I wouldn't be surprised if we end up as much as 10 million credits by the end of all this pirate hunting because it's really profitable and if we sell the weapons that we get, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with like 20 million even. Oh, well, let's see. What do we have now? It seems to be a turret. Yes. Let's unequip our oldest turret. Or rather the least DPS one, which appears to be this. And equip another Thule weapon. Now, I don't remember which system still had pirates, so I'm going to land at the trade station and check the news. We knocked out three pirate gangs, upgraded our weapons decently, and it should now be time to, you know, uh, see what other pirate gangs are there. Also, I really don't like this engine setup. I hope the next upgrade fixes that. Because these engines are a bit asymmetrically uh, aligned. I don't Attention, like that. Taxi pilots. Prepare for so there's only one vessel. gang left in the Avaloch system. Avaloch. Avaloch. Ah, it's up here. We can access all of them. Yeah. Uh, so let's take out that pirate gang, which should lead us another Thule front weapon. And... Uh, if we don't want to do an absurd amount of quests, maybe, or, or you know, um, missions, that might be the last full weapon that we have access to. Which would leave us with two front weapons and two turrets. Uh, I suppose that's a good mix. I wonder if I can make it so that they are, you know, installed symmetrically upon our ship. Would be nice. Do you really believe that you can come here and survive? Yes. Seven pirates are heading towards us. If it's seven or seventy, time shock and superior speed beats them all. Alright. Shooting gallery time. So that's now five. And four. And come on. Three. Two. 
two. Time Shock should be running out soon. Well, this is annoying. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's it. So you want to play games with us? Fine. We're going to play with you. Three bodyguards are attacking. You are not worthy. Yep, they have missiles. The and they go through our shields really efficiently. Maybe I should be focusing on other targets when they cloak because I really think they get a lot of damage reduction on their hull at least if they cloak. Might be wrong, but this is, I think, slower than what we had before. Anyway, let's switch back to Plasma Shield. And start taking out the full boss. Still not ready, otherwise I would have totally rammed her there. Alright, now. Come on! <laughs> oh! Legendary threat level. I think that is well deserved for ramming a fool that was legitimately cloaked at that point. Not cloaked for much, but I managed to take out a fool with ramming her while she was cloaked. Nice. So this should now be another full front weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, looks like it. Oh. No, it, it does not. Oh, I was still in the turrets tab. It does look like it. This appears to be the weakest weapon. Which means it's now time to equip a stronger weapon. And then, I think what I will do... Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. Just to check. Yeah, there is a pirate here. Oh, that is a hunter. I want to target... Can I not target the pirate again? Oh, really? Anyway, I think I, what I will do is... I will throw down a save, which should be... Was it 55 by now? No, 48, it seems like. S for eight. Maybe maybe we can finish on a clean fifty. Would be nice. And um, I think I will just be stopping it here because there's not much of a reason to go to a station at the moment. I mean, yeah, we are down a couple of hull points, but who cares? And next time, I think I will see if we can go here without finishing the story and stuff. And uh, if we are able to unlock all of these systems, I would very much like to. And then once our ship is absolutely positively maxed out, I'm going to visit all of these clusters if possible, save maybe for this one, because we can't reach it yet, and take out all of the pirate gangs, probably a lot of cutting involved, and it will cost a lot of time. But once I did that, other than of course the last hidden cluster which I was unable to visit, once we finish the story, I think I can call this a 100% run. I may have missed some galactic news, and I'm sorry about that, but they are really annoying to get. Maybe I'll do and put in the effort to, you know, see if I had any saves nearby that I could go to. Maybe I'll, you know, redo the story with enemies without weapons and see how far I can get, which should be fairly quick and on the lowest difficulty and stuff just to get the news. But I will see. Anyway. I also hope that I will see all of you guys next time and until then have a fantastic day.